Imagine voltage dependent calcium channels opening up like gates, allowing calcium ions to flow in and spark the release of glutamate, the primary excitatory neurotransmitter, facilitating communication and synapses. This glutamate release is crucial for learning memory and neuroplasticity, bridge remarkable ability to adapt and reorganize. Our neurons face constant challenges. Environmental stressors such as hypoxia or ischemia can trigger harmful events like oxidative stress and the accumulation of active oxygen species, damaging cell memories and leading to neuronal death. That's where our bias defense mechanisms comes into play. Antioxidants like glutathione, vitamin E, and enzymatic defenders such as superoxide dismutase work tirelessly to neutralize free radicals and maintain cellular health. In the realm of molecular signaling, the MAPK pathway, including C germ and terminal kinase, orchestrates responses to stress and growth factors. Protein kinases like protein kinase A and phosphorylinositol 3 kinase modulate phosphorylization events that influence gene transcription, synaptic plasticity, and neurogenesis. These pathways are better for long-term potentiation, the cellular base of learning and memory, involving gene transcription, protein synthesis, and structural changes at dendritic spike formation. Neuroplasticity is further supported by the growth factors, especially brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, which promotes neurogenesis in regions like the hippocampal dentate genus. Here, neural stem cells proliferate, migrate, differentiate, and mature into new neurons, neuroblasts marked by double cortine and nesting. Astrocytes and microglia play support of an immune virus. However, neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis involve complex intertwined processes, misfolded protein aggregation, mitochondrial dysfunction, accidental toxicity from excessive glutamate, and chronic inflammation driven by poor inflammatory cytokines. In tackling these challenges, lifestyle factors like physical exercise, good nutrition, and environmental enrichment bolster neuroprotective defense mechanisms, enhancing neuroplasticity and resilience. Autophagy, the cell's recycling system, helps clear dysfunctional proteins and organelles, mediated by pathways involving mTOR, breast bleeding, and some machinery safeguarding cellular integrity. On the genetic and epigenetic front, histone modifications such as acid elevation and methylation influence gene expression crucial for neuronal health. The molecular intricacies of calcium signaling and protein phosphorization are broad concepts of neurogenesis, synaptic remodeling, and neuroinflammation. A delicate balance is needed for morphological, biochemical, and physiological factors that sustain our cognition, memory, and overall brain health. We're one step closer to unlocking treatments for chronic degeneration disease and enhancing our brain's incredible capacity for adaption and repair.